Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a very long time since I have put out any content and I will get more into that once we get started with this video, but today I decided to come and bring you something new and film something different. Um, of course, it's gonna be a hair video. So, summer is finally here, you guys, and the long hair with the heat, I just cannot deal. So today we're going to do a quick updo style to protect your hair, something that's quick, something that's easy, just so that we can get our hair off of our shoulders. This is a week old twist out, and I have not retwisted it since I took it down. So as you can see, my hair is still managing, but I am just over having my hair on my shoulders just simply because the weather is too hot where I'm located. So I decided that I wanted to try and do some updos because um, wash and goes really don't last during the summertime for me. So i um, just gonna try doing some updos and ponytails but today's video is gonna be a updo ponytail style. So we're gonna wash our hair and then we'll come back once we're done and we'll get right into the video. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you'll like to see here next on my channel, and we'll be back shortly. Okay, you guys, so we're back, and we have freshly washed hair, and this is what my hair is looking like. No products have been added yet, and I just used my 7-in-1 Ozzy Moist Conditioner to condition my hair, and now we're going to go ahead and style. So before we get into the styling process, I just want to tell you guys why I have not posted any content here to my channel. The month of April was very busy for me. It was busy at work and then busy at home. I had a friend's wedding to attend, so that was a week-long vacation of helping someone get to that new point in life because everyone knows marriage is something very sacred to a lot of people. So you want to be there for your friends and make sure that they're enjoying it. And then the month of May was busy for myself because it was my wedding anniversary. So I wanted to make sure that that time was spent enjoying time with my husband. Just being grateful that we were able to cross another milestone in our life, in our marriage. So I just wanted to make sure that I focused on that. And if I was focusing more on that, I wouldn't be able to put out as good of content that I wanted to. So I wanted to push my content to the back and just focus on life. You know, when being a YouTuber, you have to know how to focus on life and then also focus on your channel. So now that the busier part of my life is over and I don't have anything really busy coming up until the month of July, I'm here. I can give you guys new content. So we're back. So I do apologize for being gone long, but like I said, I'm back and if you guys have any new ideas, any new styles that you would like for me to try, definitely let me know down below in the comment section of this video and I'll get that film quick so that you guys can see. So in this video, you will see me often probably taking a sip. If you have not tried the kombuchas yet, the health aids happen to be my favorite and this is the pomegranate one. If you have not tried it, definitely give it a try. But enough about that. So for today's video, we will be doing a high puff with bangs. And as you guys know, I said I wanted to do something where my hair was not on my shoulders and it did not cause a lot of heat because of the weather here in Atlanta. It's extremely hot. We have been having high 90 days for temperature and that's just too much for me to deal with. Um, I personally don't like to feel sweaty up under here, especially if I decide to put on makeup or something of that sort. That's just going to really just make me too hot. So today we're just going to film this quick high puff ponytail with a bang. So for your tools that you're going to need, you're going to need a denim brush of choice a rat tail comb, preferably one with the metal piece, but as long as it has a rat tail, you're good to go. You will also need clips of your choice, and it doesn't matter, you can use this one or you can use these. And then if the clips don't work, you can also use hair ties. You'll need some edge control to lay those edges. My favorite is gonna be the Mari's. You know I talk about it so much, so I'm definitely gonna use this for the edges today. You want to make sure you have some oil on here because it's not a good thing to manipulate your hair when it's dry. So you want to make sure that you have moisture and oil to your hair so that you can manipulate it really good. Then you're going to need some hair pins just to keep your puff up. And for the stylers that we're going to be using, it's going to be my Eco Styler Gel for the puff part. And for the bangs, we're going to go with our Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink 
elongating curling gel. And for your hair ties, there are two hair ties out there, you guys, so whenever you're doing a high puff, please make sure that you're using the right kind of hair ties. And what I mean by two hair ties, you have the hair ties that come like this, and they have this little metal piece on it, and then you have the hair ties that are like this, and they do not have the metal piece. I prefer to use the one without the metal piece because if you happen to tie your hair twice with this hair tie, this is what you'll have and then that metal piece is pushing on your hair which can eventually tangle up and cause you to pull your hair. So you don't want to do that. So if you're going to use a double tie, make sure you have this one. They both can be found at Walmart but I think you can get these cheaper inside a beauty supply store. I think I got five for about two dollars whereas you only get three of these for two dollars inside of Walmart. So be careful when doing your styles. Also, just to help with the style, I have my spray bottle filled with water, and I got this spray bottle from my local Dollar General. It was only a dollar. So enough of chattering, let's get into this video. Like I said, we're gonna do a high puff, and we're gonna have bangs in the front. So you want to just go in and part your hair, and make sure that your part is even for this particular style. You can also do this part as big or as small as you want and it's just a preference for how you feel that you want your bangs to be. So of course for more hair in the front you have a bigger part, for less hair in the front you would have a smaller part. So we're gonna work with this later. So to keep this out of the way, we're just gonna twist it up really nice. And then we're going to clip it away so that we can focus on our ponytail. Now, I think I want to do, let's see. We're gonna go for a high puff versus straight to the back so start off by making sure to moisture your hair go in with your oil So you know what, I'm actually going to do the ponytail last and we're going to just focus on the front just because 
we're going to finger coil the front and it may take a little longer to do so I'd rather go ahead and finger coil that portion first since we're gonna go for bangs so let's just scratch off doing that and to do the finger coils we're gonna use the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed uh, elongating curling gel this is what it looks like it's a nice consistency I would not use it to do a ponytail because I just don't think it has a stronger hold for a ponytail so that's just a preference So when doing finger coils, you can do them small or big, it just depends on you. But for this bang style, I'm going to do them a little smaller than I would normally do. And the parts do not have to be neat when doing finger coils because once it dries up, you'll be able to separate further. So with each coil you want to make sure to apply product to it so that it can coil up and once I get done with the front I'll come back and show you guys how the front portion of your hair should look but so far this is what we have and I'm gonna do them that size all the way over on the front of my head
so we're back and this is the final look I know I said I was going for a hot puff but unfortunately my gel was not really doing what I think it should do and I think that's one of the biggest issues I have with the flaxseed um, eco styler gel it just doesn't give you that hold that the argan oil or the olive oil will do and I don't have neither on hand so I just had to make do so I changed up the style a little. I still have the bangs in the front, as you guys can see, and it's nice and loose, nothing is stiff. There is no crunch and I can move it and I don't have to worry about it, but I do want to let it dry a little more and I'll pull it up at the root so that we can have higher bangs. And then for the back, I just did my two in the back. And then for the ponytail part, I decided to go ahead and finger coil them in big coils. And once they dry up, I'll go in and separate them. So this is what we have. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys give this style a try. If you do, don't forget to let me know. And also, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to follow me over on Instagram. All the details and tools will be down below in the description bar. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.